And as we walk through this holy week, unsure of what lies ahead, help us to know that your light is there waiting for us this Easter morning. In Jesus' name, Amen. So having reflected on God's word, let us call upon the name of the Lord, trusting in the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us. Let me say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Blessed are the humble, for they are close to the sacred earth, Jesus says in Matthew's Gospel. It is in the depths of life that we find you at the heart of this moment at the centre of our souls, deep in the earth and its eternal, eternal stirrings. You are the ground of all being, the wellspring of time, womb of the earth, the seed force of stars. And so at the opening of this day, this Easter morning, we wait, not for blessings from afar, but for you, the very soil of our soul, the early freshness of morning, the first breath of day. For God lifts up those who are bowed down, it says in Psalm 146. And Jesus said, whoever wishes to be great among you must be servant among you. And the Quran says, why do you not bow to the one whom my own hands have made? For everything that emerges from the earth, thanks be to you, O God. Holy root of being, secret sap that rises full body fragrance of earth's unfolding form. May we know that we are of you. May we know that we are in you. May we know that we are one with you, together one. Guide us as nations to what is deepest. Open us as peoples to what is first. Lead us as a world to what is dearest, that we may know the holiness of wholeness, that we may learn the strength of humility, that together we may live close to the earth and grow in grounded glory. And we raise up those names of people whom each one of us know, family, friends, acquaintances, loved ones, both near and far, that we wish to place before God this morning. I think of my friend Mary in the States who is recovering from a a horrendous car crash and is just learning to walk again. We lift her to you, Lord, this morning. I'm an old rugby friend from back in the 60s, Titch, who's very, very ill in hospital with sepsis and liver failure. And there are many more that we only know ourselves and we lift them before God this morning. May the deep blessings of the earth be with us. May the fathomless soundings of seas search in our souls. May boundless stretches of the universe echo in our depths, to open us to wonder, to strengthen us for love, to humble us for gratitude, that we may find ourselves in one another, that we may lose ourselves in gladness, that we give ourselves to peace. Amen. We sing and we say, rather, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us away from temptation but del and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Amen. Christ, King of Tenderness, Christ, King of Tenderness, bind us with a bond that cannot be broken. Bind us with a bond of love that cannot be broken. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you and those whom you love, both now and forevermore. Amen. Using one of our homemade hot cross buns this morning as our bread.
for communion. you will join with me at home wherever you are in the sharing and the breaking of bread and the drinking of wine the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ for the Lord is with us and his spirit is here blessed are you Lord God of the universe our father forever and ever for through your goodness we have these gifts of bread and wine which earth has given and human hands have made may they become for us the food and drink of eternal life Bless the King of all the earth, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. When the Saviour of the world was stretched out on the tree of death, the elements erupted and the earth gave up its dead. His blood spilled on the earth, transformed earth and heaven. May his body and blood change us and transform us. On the very night that he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ, took bread, he gave you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and saying, take and eat, for this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper he took the cup, he gave you thanks and he gave it to them, saying, drink this all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me. And we say together, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in your tender mercy, send us the Spirit of the Lamb. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy upon us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy upon us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, Give us your peace. And Jesus said, If you are thirsty, drink the fount of life. If you are hungry, eat the bread of life. Blessed are all who hunger for this bread and thirst for this fount. Amen. Almighty Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, eternal, ever-blessed, gracious God, to me, the least of saints, to me allow that I may keep a door in paradise, that I may keep even the smallest door, the furthest door, the darkest, coldest door, the door that is least used, the stiffest door, if it so but be in your house, O God. If it so be that I can see your glory even afar and hear your voice, O God, and know that I am with you, you my God. And we're going to sing uh, a second song, which is the one we used a couple of weeks ago, that seems very, very appropriate uh, for Easter Sunday morning. For Jesus is the name we honor. Jesus is the name we praise. For every knee shall bow and every tongue confess in all the world and underneath the world that he is Lord.
make it. We were sitting at breakfast this, breakfast this morning and um, the family were thinking of all the people who are transforming this country by their love, their generosity, their largeness of heart and their sheer dedication to whatever it is they're doing to keep our country going, to keep us with food on our tables, to keep us with light, uh, to keep us with power. We think of the farmers we've seen out there preparing for this year's food and, and next year's as well. We think of all the men and women, the power stations, the gas, the electric, the water that we don't think of. We just take for granted. We turn the tap on, we flip the light on. But there are people out there who are keeping us going. We think of all the logistics from A to B, the, the, um, the, the guys that come and pick up our rubbish uh, every week. Think of all the telecommunications that's going on. We think of shop staff and van drivers and truck drivers. A friend of mine uh, runs uh, a great big truck to, to water treatment plants every single week and he's up and down. And the police, the fire, the ambulance people, as well as the wonderful NHS and the carers, the people in care homes who are looking after the elderly who can't move. And finally, all of us who are staying home, a huge thank you because it's We've been looking at the statistics and it's quite extraordinary the, the number of deaths that we will save simply by doing a simple thing like that. And um, so many imaginative things that are coming out of staying at home with families, um, learning to be with children and, and relatives and friends, uh, talking over the fence and so on. So we bless you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Sacred Spirit, the one and the three. May God give you to drink of his cup. May the sun be bright upon you. May the night call down peace. And when you come to his household, may the door be wide open as you go in to your joy. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of